guys, welcome back to my series Inside My Micro Bakery. If you're new here, I'm Lily and I run my own small business micro bakery in South London called Lily's Loaf. I've got a big day today. Uh, I am the baker, I'm going to be the delivery lady too because my um, delivery guys are unavailable, one's away on holiday, the other one's not very well. Um, so I've got them to do today and I am estimating it'll take about four hours because I've got 22 deliveries and I figured out for every five deliveries it takes about an hour. So unless I'm super super speedy and it is, I'm blessed because it's a lovely day today here in London, um, then yeah it'll take about four hours so I really need to be on the road by latest half ten, eleven. Then I'll be back for about three. Um, hopefully I can get away a bit before then because tomorrow I have a market. Um, now this market was cancelled last month because of the storms we had in London, which were a bit insane. Um, so it was pushed back to this month. So this is actually my first market of the year. So I'm feeling a little bit out of practice, a little bit nervous, but yeah, I've got all the prep to do this afternoon, so that's going to be fun, um, but this is just the reality of running your own small business and having to be prepared to kind of do absolutely everything yourself, in the early days at least, um, so yeah, that's what I've got on today, um, I will keep you updated throughout the day. I've got lots of, sorry, got lots of cookies to now shape and get my hot cross buns on the go. I've got amazing hot cross buns for Easter, which I am so happy with. Honestly, the first time I pulled them out the oven last week, I was so excited. I mean, he just can't beat it. Um, so yeah, I've got loads to get on with and I will check in later on, guys. Bye. Thank you. 
Hey guys, um, so it's definitely a few hours later now, it's about quarter to four in the afternoon here. Um, so I've done all of my deliveries, I got them done in about two and a half hours which was great because I had about 22. So I was very happy with that, it took a lot less time than I thought but I was going extra speedy just to get it all done. So I've done all my deliveries, done all my morning bakes, now I'm on to my market prep um, and I am preparing this new magic bread that I am trying out and I honestly it's so good so this is inspired by somebody called Josie Baker who you might have heard of he has a bakery in San Francisco and he makes bread called adventure bread and he um, came up with the recipe I think he was inspired by the life-changing loaf of bread um, but he came up with the recipe because he wanted something for people who can't eat wheat or who can't eat gluten um, and it's so good like the concept is that you can take it anywhere you want and you'll have an amazing time and it's kind of the sort of bread that would sustain you for like a full-on adventure so yeah I, I love that name um, but I I'm doing like a kind of version of it because he uses almonds in it and as you may know I'm allergic to almonds and nuts so I had to come up with something different um, and I've just kind of like changed the ratios of seeds and stuff um, so yeah this is the first time that I'm selling it at a market and I'm so excited to see how it goes down I just had some for my lunch and it is honestly so so tasty like it was even better than the first time that I made it um, and I think it's just because you bake it for such a long time for about an hour I, today I baked it even longer and then you get a really really good crust um, it's very dense I'll put a picture up here it's very dense it's very hearty but it's got such amazing flavor to it too and a really good like texture and bite excited to share it with everyone and see what they think because I think it's 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 a winner I mean it's just great um, so for this market in particular I'm having to focus on more of like wheat free products um, just because of the other traders there and kind of making sure that we don't step on each other's toes um, it's just something that's been agreed um, so I'm going along with it um, but yeah it also means that it's a bit more of a challenge for me as a baker to make more wheat free things so I've got my magic bread I've got um, a gluten free or like a wheat free focaccia that I'm doing with fresh rosemary and garlic and maybe like a basil pesto but I'm not sure about that yet um, what else am I doing? I am doing my red on onion chutney and then I'm also doing my epic morning buns so yeah I've got a lot to do and it's four o'clock so I really need to get a move on um, and yeah but I just wanted to update you there um, it's a very busy day today but it's okay the sun's shining and we'll get through it Guys, look at this. I am so proud of this. This is my um, my gluten-free focaccia with garlic and fresh rosemary. Oh my god. I have so much faith in this. Fingers crossed it works. Please pray for it. Um, so it's had a first proof and then I'm going to pop it in the fridge now overnight and then I will bring it to room temp and then bake it in the morning but it's all prepared now I might add some more veg in the morning so it's more of like a substantial kind of like on the go meal for my customers at the market but yeah so happy with that wow 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 please work got the morning buns on the go in here now and all of this chaos so that's the filling for the morning buns Cinnamon, light brown sugar, orange zest, uh, vegan butter, and yeah, and then in here we've obviously got the focaccia that I just showed you. Um, we've got the uh, magic bread in there, which is just kind of chilling and getting to know each other, like all the different flavors. I haven't figured out if I'm going to bake it tonight 
um, to save myself some time in the morning or if I'm gonna leave it in here in the tins and then bake it in the morning I'm not sure yet um, but yeah that's where we're at guys so getting there slowly slowly good morning guys so it's Saturday morning so it's market day today um, I've been up since just before five and I've got my gluten-free focaccia out the oven. I've got my magic bread in the oven. Um, I've got some hot cross buns to do for an order that I forgot yesterday. I felt so bad. Um, and then I've got my morning buns to bake after that. So yeah, it's all go. Um, but I think I'm gonna bring you along to the market today to show you some behind the scenes if I have time. Good morning guys, so it's now Sunday morning, so it's the day after the market, and as you can see, this is all the washing up over here, and then also here, 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 yep, and that is the reality of running your own bakery, um, I've left it all to this morning because it just kind of crashed um, when I got back yesterday. So yeah, got to do this now. guys so it's Monday now so it's been um, a couple days since I last filmed uh, I think the last time I filmed I was probably just heading to the market um, up at the rookery and it was a crazy day I'm surprised I even filmed in the morning actually just because it all kind of comes together very very quickly and from when I'm first awake to out the door it's just like time just flies by um, but it went pretty well I saw lots of my lovely local customers a couple of uh, a couple stockers came by to say hi which was so nice um, and I met some new customers too uh, I didn't have as much product this time um, just because I think I mentioned there's another bread stall there and then there's another like kind of cake stall there so Kind of restricted in terms of what I can and can't sell. Um, so this time I was focusing on wheat-free products, so my magic bread and wheat-free focaccia and then my morning buns and then just some chutney. So I had very small like product range um, and it went well. Like we sold everything apart from one magic loaf, which we'll just have at home. Um, but I definitely noticed a difference in my sales and I think that was also because I was waiting on a delivery of flour and it honestly, it hasn't arrived until today and I ordered it two weeks ago. It normally comes within three days of delivery but because there's been such a panic buy with everything that's going on in the world right now, with the flour prices shooting up by 80%, um, it just means that people have panic bought loads of flour from this particular supplier that I use, shipped to mill. Um, so yeah, it meant that I couldn't make as many morning buns, which obviously affected my final revenue. Um, but it was still good to do and it was a lovely day. It was very, very sunny. Although I stupidly wore Birkenstocks and a short sleeve t-shirt and I was freezing the whole day. I don't know why I do this. I continue to do this at all my markets. I don't wear nearly enough clothes and I'm always freezing. Um, but yeah, hey ho, we live and we learn. 
Um, and what else did I want to say? I can't remember. Uh, oh yeah. Um, because it is so exhausting as well, and I put everything into it. Um, on Sunday, on y yesterday, so I had my friend's birthday in the evening on Saturday. Um, and then Sunday, I was literally just like wiped out. I was like so tired. I went out, met some friends for coffee. I had a little, a little walk, um, but wow, I was literally just on my bed and outside in the sun for the rest of the day. And I just think I need to remember that for all of the future markets, just to kind of factor in a day after. Where possible, obviously, it's not gonna happen every time. Um, just to have a day of doing nothing and yeah, watching Netflix and Stanley Tucci and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so much, so much hard work goes into it and I have the help of my mum and my dad too, which is really nice. They help set up the stall, which takes off a big strain um, while I'm doing all the baking and then getting all of the food up there on the bike. Um, but yeah, these things are always good to do. My next market is with a woodland school. Um, and all of the kids there have been working on a climate change project for the term and it's kind of culminating in this woodland festival with loads of local sustainable um, eco-conscious businesses like me and yeah I know a couple of the traders who are going to be there which is nice um, and I think that'll just be like quite a cool quite a cool vibe. I think there's going to be some talks as well, um, but that is on April 23rd in Morden. I'll post more details about it in the future, but yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, but today I've just got a normal day of prep, which I'm going to start very shortly. Um, I have got my croissants to still work on. I have got other bits of admin work to do, just things to like refine the business even more and to kind of um, streamline the delivery process and make it really, really consistent um, because that's what we want in the business. And yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up now because this video is probably super, super long, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you're all really well. Um, leave me a comment down below, let me know where you're from, and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye guys!